Game two of the Texas Rangers season, and they're giving away rings. Well, to the Rangers, these ones we have to buy ourselves. And they're giving away Hall of Famers, or autographs anyway. Ferguson Jenkins. Can I have that truck, too? They didn't give me the truck, but here comes Ferguson Jenkins. He's gonna high five this random guy's plastic thing. It's kind of weird. Hey, Fergie, you're a stud. Former Ranger great Mike Napoli. Boy, he was fun to watch and he knew how to have fun. New art at the stadium. And here's the clearly great guy, Dansby Swanson, signing for some fans. He actually was talking to them. He must have known some of these guys because he had a long conversation with them and signed a bunch of autographs for people. Seems like a really, really nice guy. Second day in a row, I saw him signing for fans. One of my favorite baseball YouTubers, C. Hendo, right there. Now here's something you don't see every day at the ball game, the stage. They need the stage. They're gonna be passing out these rings and you gotta have a stage. Now this is something you see at every Ranger game if you're there early and it's a home game and you're over here on this side of the field. Corey Seager takes a little mini nap. Again, not normally with the stage back there, but still a nap. That's Texas Rangers owner, Ray Davis, and the executive director of the almost brand new National Medal of Honor Museum here in Arlington, Texas. That's General Manager Chris Young. And here comes some of the ring presentations. It was pretty cool. Honestly, it was really, really neat to see the guys get their rings, see their emotions. Heck, I got emotional, and I don't play. I just watch. But I loved it. I was really glad to be there, and uh, congrats to the guys. World champs. Those rings weigh more than a baseball. Check these out. They are amazing.
before the game they had to get a group picture with the guys with the rings. That's a forever picture. How cool is that? Loved, loved, loved being there. See it. Just amazing, right? How cool is this ring? How cool was it to be there? All right, enough of that. Let's play some baseball. And after all that, finally the game gets started. Marcus lacing a line drive, as he always does, to get the Rangers rolling. Then with Simeon running, Corey Seager does what he does. They sit in the right field. I thought we were going to get on the board right here, but not quite. Later, Wyatt Lankford does what he's been doing all year. Another solid hit. And here we have more Corey Seager being Corey Seager. And here, Adolis Garcia, his second home run of 2024, his 99th of his career. Behind him, Josh Young, base hit. And again, here's Corey Seager, one of his four hits on the day. I gotta be honest right here, I thought this was Wyatt Lankford's first home run of his major league career, but I was wrong, looking through a fan's eyes, I guess. I do need to mention this, the Cubs fans came out. They were fired up. Those are our dancers. And those are some Cubs fans, loud people. Anyway, back to the game. All this guy does is rake. Knocking in a run here, Marcus Simeon. I'll say it again, future Hall of Famer. Respect this guy's game, it's elite. Going, going, caught for a sacrifice fly, though, and another run. And another hit for the stud, Wyatt Lankford, future rookie of the year. Turned into 11 2 blowout, big win for my Rangers Cubbies. Down two, we sweep them tomorrow for Easter. 2-0, And what do you do when the game's over? You head over to Texas Live and maybe you see Kiss. Well, not actual Kiss, but Kiss, the second generation? Anyway, thanks for watching. Go Rangers! Shout it, shout it, shout it out loud. And subscribe to my channel. Yes, that was Kiss. Well, it was me doing Kiss. Sorry. Not really.
Go Rangers. Thanks for watching. Sorry about the song. See you on the next one.